Hello everyone, welcome to Resonance, a small horror game created by Spiderloft as part of Asylum Jam, a 48-hour game jam that is all about making horror games that don't use mental illness or asylums in their setting or gameplay. I learned about Resonance from a site called creepygaming.net. It's really an excellent site for finding horror games that you might otherwise miss. Link to that will be in the description. Also links to Resonance and the Asylum Jam itself will also be in the description. So, the official description for the game says this. Explore an abandoned facility in the aftermath of an event while a mysterious entity stalks you. Our idea was a bit ambitious to finish in time, but there are some cool things going on. So in other words, based on that, and from what I've heard, it sounds like it's definitely unfinished. One of the key things that I've heard that's missing is, it sounds like the, kind of, the entity stalking you wasn't really fully implemented. I've heard it doesn't really exist necessarily. Like it might it might be just more of the creepy sounds that are there rather than anything that actually does chase you. So it certainly seems unfinished. However, just based on my um very, very small amount of experience with it, I just spent a couple minutes moving around in it and seeing how it works. There is actually a lot here to offer. If there wasn't, I wouldn't be playing it. It's actually pretty damn cool from what I've seen so far. Even though it is quite unfinished. Okay. So, you appear to be some sort of a... A person in some sort of a big, bulky spacesuit. You can see how slowly you move. You cannot sprint. And your view is obscured by your helmet, I believe. That's why the edges are all covered up on your screen. And you're holding some sort of a device that is connected to the camera feeds in these rooms. Like right now I'm connected to this camera that I'm looking at, so if you look in the bottom left, I'm actually seeing myself through the camera. If I aim the flashlight down, you can see my feet. Yep, so I'm some person in a big bulky spacesuit on... This is a really creepy noise. Yeah. Person in a big bulky spacesuit, connecting to camera feeds in some sort of a base wall... So, a base where something happened, and something is stalking me, as you can hear. I can hear it stalking me. It's making strange noises. So there's quite a bit I like, I like about it. Oh, oh god. <laughs> Dear god. <laughs> just, just, just be quiet, okay? Just, just be quiet for a minute. The, oh, okay, or you can keep making noise. <laughs> it's going to be really hard to concentrate with that creepy thing breathing down my neck. There's quite a few things I like about it already, just based on what I've seen right here. For one, it's actually incredibly good looking. Normally games made in a game jam don't look very good. Naturally. You know, just kind of the nature of the beast, but this actually looks really damn good. It's got some really detailed um, texture and model work, if you look around. I mean, look at the floor. Look at that. It's pretty damn good looking. And I think probably the best thing about its look is the lighting. It's got really good lighting. Just look at the, dyna the dynamic lighting, especially looking at it from the perspective of the camera in the bottom left of the screen. Look at that in the bottom left. You can see it. Just look at that lighting. And then look at the lens flare when you aim at the camera. Look at that. It's beautiful. And all the... Uh, all the, like, dusty look on the camera and the, like, scan lines on the camera. <laughs> you can see my helmet is lit up. It's just, the lighting is really good. The graphics are really good. And it's incredibly moody already. Just from this alone, just, just the look of that camera. Actually, looking through the camera is a lot moodier than just looking at the game world through the normal view. Just the, the graininess, the fact that it's so hard to see. Everything's all tinted green, like it's night vision. Seriously, it's good looking. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Although I do think it's very strange that you're looking at a camera feed for the room through this device. Like, why am I, like, why am I doing that? Why would I want to see myself through the camera when I have my own eyes? There's got to be a reason I have this device out, but I'm guessing that's one of the things that was not implemented in the game. 
Perhaps they intended it to be that the creature stalking you only shows up on the camera, so you have to use that to see where it is, to see when it comes into the room. And by the way, that would be terrifying. If you have to look at that camera in the bottom left, or the, the screen in the bottom left, and you had to look at that grainy little image, and you just saw... Like, you just saw a little outline, a dark outline of something, like, standing behind you. And you only can see it in the camera, but you, and you turn around in the main view and you don't see it. But you're sweeping across and you see, like, you see the entity show up. Maybe it's got glowing green eyes, since it's got that night vision kind of, like, green look. Holy shit, I just scared myself. Right here? I- oh my god. What I'm looking at right there on the screen in the bottom left. I thought maybe that was the creature, but that's, it's just me. Jesus. Oh. There's so much potential here, and that's what excites me the most about this so far, is just the potential for it. Okay, so let's move on and see if we can find anything. I'm not actually expecting to find anything because of how unfinished it's supposed to be. Like, I don't know if they implemented any sort of a story or, like, I don't know if they implemented any sort of interaction. I guess we're going to find out. God, just looking how it's... Looking at how the, the light sweeps over the stuff on the camera on the bottom left is so good. I almost wish that I couldn't even see this, this main view and that my entire screen was just looking through the camera. It might even be more atmospheric. Although trying to implement that properly would... Well, that would be difficult. Okay. It's also kind of strange to have that screen in the bottom left because it's constantly sapping my attention. Like, I always want to look at it. And I have to keep dividing my attention between the main view and the screen. Front or right? I mean, front or right. Front or left. I can't even get my direction straight. Let's go left. Yeah, the lighting is just really good. Acquiring feed. Connecting to a new camera. Where's that camera? Where's that camera? Left or right? Is it this one? No. Oh, here we go. Is it gonna connect to this one? Yeah, there we go. Oh god. Just, just look at that. Look at that in the bottom left. Look at me sweep my light over the hallway. Imagine if I swept my light over this hallway and at the end of the hallway... <laughs> Can you imagine how terrifying that would be? Oh my god. Ugh. Acquiring feed. Acquiring new feed. And look, even more amazing lighting. Alright, where's this camera? Oh. I think, I, yeah, I think it's connecting to wrong feeds, probably in rooms next to it. I'm guessing that the feed connection thing is just done by pure proximity. So if a camera is closer to you, even if it's through the wall, it probably connects to it. I'm guessing that's what's happening. But I finally connected to this one. Again, look at that lens flare. Oh my god, it's so good looking. Oh. What are those? Are those submersibles? They look kind of like untextured submersibles of some sort. Uh, I would go down there to explore them, but I don't see a ladder, so I think I might get stuck. Oh my god. That texture is stretched beyond belief. And it's also doing some weird stuff when I get near it. Oh my god. Some sort of like normal mapping or parallax mapping or something? I don't know, it's making my eyes hurt though, I'm gonna look away from it. Let me see if there's a way down here. Yeah, those are definitely submersibles of some sort, you can see the propellers on the back. Any way down? Nah. That might be somewhere I have to explore at the end. Maybe. Because I don't think I'm gonna be able to get out of there. I don't suppose this door opens? No. Hmm. 
Well, wait a minute. If there are submersibles, would I be right in assuming that this is then underwater? Alright, let me slowly make my way back and try a different pathway. You know what, it does actually, I do hear creaking sounds, like metal creaking. As if this whole place is under pressure, I'm thinking this is underwater. Acquiring feed. I keep seeing that room. The one covered with fog, or whatever that is. Alright, I think this is where I was before. Maybe. Hard to tell. I, I don't even know where I am anymore. I'm just gonna go this way. Alarm is going off, although it's surprisingly quiet. Hey, you can even see that there's, uh, there's like dust and, and scratches and stuff on my helmet. You can see it when the light highlights it. It's really cool looking. Okay. What are these? Hatches? They look like hatches. Notice to all personnel. Could you please refrain from dropping litter down the toilets? Also, please stop crapping in the bins. Cameras have been installed to catch the culprits. Thank you. I guess that's why there's a camera in here. <laughs> okay. That is a strange justification for having cameras in the game, but I'll roll with it. These are, I guess... Yeah, they're toilets. And there's a bunch of cans. I think those are books. You know what? Listen, I'm hearing directional noise of, like, a monster. Wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. Am I seeing the entity on the camera? L look, oh, look at the, um, look at the screen in the bottom left. And then on that screen in the bottom left of the screen, look at, on the bottom right of that screen. Where I'm aiming my light. I see a shadow. And I don't think it's mine, because mine is going behind me. I'm thinking those noises that I'm hearing are actually the entity. I think the entity is in the game world, but I'm guessing it doesn't do anything other than follow you or follow you around and make noise. Let me see if it moves. I'm looking at the screen in the bottom. Oh god. Yep. Yep, look, you, yep, you can see it on the screen in the bottom left. It is following me, it does nothing. Look, I'll walk into it. Yeah. Screw you. Stupid monster. You impotent thing. So the monster is in the game, and it moves, and it makes noises, but it doesn't do anything else. At least it doesn't seem like it. Alright, so I see what they were going for. You you truly can't see it in the game world. They were going for a thing where you can see it only on the cameras. Which is smart. I like it. Oh, it's right behind me. 
See if we can, see if we can catch it. Come on. Come on. Come down the corridor. Oh god. Fuck. Fuck. F okay, I'm going. Even though I know it can't hurt me, I'm going. That is really, 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 really scary. That's funny, it's terrifying, even though I know it can't hurt me. Now imagine if it actually could. Alright, where the hell am I? Is this where I started from? This is the starting room, isn't it? Yes. I probably explored pretty much all there is. There might be a couple more rooms, but I'm guessing there's not anything in particular inside of them. That? Oh, this is just the starting room, except with no furniture. Hello, Entity. I know you're here. Goodbye. Um, let's go see if I can find a new room. And if I can't, I'm just going to go down to the submersibles and see if anything happens. Left or right? Which way did I go? I'm going right. I really can't remember where I've been before. These hallways all look exactly the same anyway. So I can't exactly use the landmarks to find my way. I'd leave a trail of breadcrumbs, but I have no bread. And even if I had bread, I probably couldn't make crumbs out of it. Because I'm inside of a suit, and trying to manipulate bread and tear it into tiny pieces with my giant sausage soup fingers would be a bit difficult. I suppose if it was extremely stale bread that had been left out for like a week and was hard as a rock, maybe I could use... Maybe I could put it on the ground and then like smash it with my gigantic iron foot. Or something. And then I could have crumbs. But then I'd have trouble picking them off of the floor. And, wait, why am I talking about crumbs and my suit? Hmm. Hmm. Two long hallways. Let's go down this one. It's funny, you, you kind of get stuck on these little bits here. I've had to jump over one or two. Alright, this is... Ooh, new message. This looks like sleeping quarters. Personal log entry open. Hey, family. I can't go into... Into too much detail, of course, but we've got a, well, a sort of test. I'm a bit nervous, but we have good people here. They'll look after me. All my love, as always. Thanks for the model airship. I love it. Sophie. Hmm. A sort of test. If she's talking about... Oh. I hear it. It's probably going to show up on the screen. Well, the description did say this, um, I'm on, I'm exploring this space after an event. Maybe that test is the event. Maybe they ran an experiment and let's just say it didn't go too well. I know it's right there in the doorway. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> it's going to be right there behind me on the camera. Look, let's look behind me. Let's... Oh, the camera doesn't show it. Nope, it's not showing the right angle. Wait a minute. Look at this. Look, look at this. The, oh. Hello. I know you're there. Look at this. There's a plate. Here. In one of the sleeping quarters. Someone has been eating in bed. Who the hell eats in bed? Okay, I've done it before, but rarely. Very rarely. And I, I mean, I've never, like, taken a freaking plate into bed. It's weird. Probably just end up falling asleep and wake up with spaghetti in your hair. Yeah, that's exactly what would happen. Yep. Should I look behind me on the camera? I think I shall. I can't see it. 
Probably because I'm blowing out the camera, so let's keep going. Oh, what is this? Oh, we're back to this room. Okay. Whoa, what the fuck just happened to my screen? In the bottom left, it turned all white. That was weird. Anyway. Okay, so we're back to this submersible room. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Let's go down. Uh, I'm assuming I can go down, can I? Yes, whoa, what the... That was weird. Alright, I don't think there's any sort of an end to this game. That's my guess. I don't suppose I can go in... These strange, untextured submersibles? As far as I know, you can't use anything. I don't... Does E do anything? E, click? I don't think so. Nah. Yeah, I don't think there's any sort of an end implemented into the game. At least none that I've been able to find. And there's also no way out, just as I feared. Unless I can climb the walls. Come on, climb, climb! Am I actually kind of like... getting up the wall a little bit? I don't think so. No. Okay. Well, let's just end it here. Thankfully, I don't think the entity can get down here, unless it would be stupid enough to fall. I wonder if it would fall down here. I don't know. Can I get on? Can I get on? Ah, Nope. Okay. So let's just end it here, because yeah, there's, there's not all that much... I mean, there's basically no meat here. Which if they recognize, you know, they said they just did not have enough time to finish it, basically. And that happens. You know, it happens. So there's really not much of a game here, but... What is here... This, this has some really, really interesting elements that... just show so much potential. So here's what I like about it, even though it's totally unfinished, you know, it doesn't really work as a game, it's not a complete experience of any sort. But it's got some stuff that's worth taking a look at and worth... Uh, worth, worth taking note of. One thing, it's really good looking, which again is very rare for a, a game made in such a short amount of time. Game Jam games typically do not look very good, but this actually looks really damn good. It's got some really good texture work, some really good modeling, some things just aren't textured, of course, like these things. But a lot of it looks really good, and especially the lighting is excellent. It's got some very good atmospheric sounds, lots of uh, creaks and groans. And the creepy monster, like, weird breathing noise. Footsteps are also very nice. Nice, satisfying sort of, like, click and clack as you're going across these metal floors. Never underestimate the importance of good footstep sounds. Seriously, they are very important. Um, let's see what else. Okay, the other big thing. Probably the last big thing is the, gr uh, not the graphics in general, but the, um, the camera mechanics, specifically. The screen that you're viewing in the bottom left that connects to the camera of, well, whatever the closest camera is. That is a very, very interesting mechanic. Now, it does have a problem that I've noticed. I don't know how you could solve this. And that's that my eye is constantly drawn to it. It feels very uncomfortable because I'm constantly... I'm constantly wanting to look at it, and then switching back to the main screen, and then wanting to switch back to it. And it's kind of, it's really disorienting. Which is why I was thinking, I might actually like it more if that view of looking through the camera was actually the only view you had. If that was your entire screen, I think I might like that more. Um, but that would bring with it its own design problems. Namely being that it's rather hard to explore if you can't, you know, actually see what's in front of your face, because you're not viewing through the character's eyes. However, I don't want to dis- uh, I don't think it should be dismissed as undoable, having a game where the only thing you can do is see through the camera. And the reason why is because it's been done before. And pretty damn well. There's a game that you probably haven't heard of, an, uh, an adventure game called The Experiment. I think it's also called, like, Experience 112 or something like that in other countries, but in North America, at least, it's called The Experiment. And in that game, you actually control you're like in control of a a computer system and you can connect to various cameras along the base and you can control stuff like the lights and the doors 
You can access the crew emails and hack into them if you can find their passwords. And so you have direct control over stuff, but you also have indirect control over the main character that you're watching. Leah, you're watching her through these various cameras, but you're not in direct control of her. The only thing you can do is manipulate the environment around her to make her do stuff. Like, for example, you can flick on and off a light in the game world to make her walk towards it. Flick on and off a light, or like turn on and off a computer to make her log into the computer. Stuff like that. So it is doable. It is doable to have a game where you indirectly control the character. It's it's difficult. It, I don't think it's been done many times before. It would be difficult, but it is doable. And it would be very cool to see that explored. But yeah, that's just like a tangent. One possibility of this. Of this sort of a looking through a camera system. I, I think it'd be interesting to see the ideas that I saw in the experiment. Uh, but taken further and used for a horror game instead of an adventure game. I think that'd be really neat. And the other thing I wanted to say about the camera system is... Or, yeah, the, the camera and the, and the view system there in the bottom left. Just that, like, that view of, a, like, a scan liney sort of camera. Looks like it's night vision and it's all grainy looking and it's distorted. I've said previously that I really like in a horror game when your view is distorted in some way. When you have lots of Lots of things kind of like covering your view in some way. Like in this case, I'm I'm wearing a mask and my view is partially obscured by that, uh, or uh, not the mask, a helmet. I'm wearing a helmet and my view is partially obscured by that. Right, I can't see around the edges very well. There's like dust and smudges on my mask and stuff like that. I like it when your view is obscured in a horror game because it makes you feel uncomfortable. And... And, like, you're not in control as much, because you can't see as well. It's harder to see. Which, at least to a degree, is very good in a horror game. It feels like, uh, it feels more claustrophobic. It's harder to identify stuff. It makes things more mysterious. Like that view in the bottom left of that camera. Everything is so grainy and so distorted. That it's hard to make out what you're seeing. So you're constantly thinking, like, is that shadow a person? Or a thing? Is it an entity? Or is it just a shadow? Is it just a trick of the light? You know, what am I seeing? That's effective for horror. It's really good. Am I seeing the entity on that view? I think I am. I think I'm seeing the entity at the top of the... top of this lip here somewhere. I think. It's hard to tell. And see? That's creepy. I think it's there. I can hear it, but I can't exactly see it. Not clearly. That's creepy. So yeah, if they... You know, if they developed this into a... Well, just developed it more. The system that they seem to be going for, where you can see through the cameras, and it looks like you're meant to be able to only see the creature through the cameras... If they develop that system further, it is it could be really creepy, because it's already pretty damn creepy, even though I know that the creature can't hurt me. It still is damn creepy. So yeah, this game is obviously unfinished. But what is present here is a bunch of really cool elements that could go in a lot of different directions and are very promising. They'd be very cool to explore. So overall, I really freaking like it. More for its, you know, more for its potential than it itself, but still. This is really cool. Alright, well, I guess I will end it there. Okay. For some reason, I just want to keep saying it's really cool, because seriously, this is really cool. I don't even want to end it yet, I just want to keep saying that this is cool. I'd love to see something like this, but just bigger and more developed. Okay, I guess I actually should end it, right? After all, I'm stuck in a hole with some untextured submersibles while an impotent creature tries to attack me from on the lip, but he can't come down, and even if he could, he couldn't attack me. Haha! <laughs> you can't do anything. I don't even know where you are.
Okay, I actually will end it. <laughs> Alright, I hope everyone enjoyed my playthrough of Resonance.